As a licensed educator and a mom of five, people ask me a lot of questions. So in this video, what I thought I would do is answer a huge question I get all the time, which is, how can I help my kids to get closer to Allah? And while I'm answering that, I will say for many moms, it's really hard because we wanna do these things. They are like really close to our heart. We have kids to obviously raise them as good Muslims. We're also busy, tired, overwhelmed, and we have our own stuff going on. So how can we do this big thing that seems like we really want it, it's really great, but also making a realistic way. So in this video, I thought I'd take you to like, like my own backyard with my own kids, two out of out of the, the lot of them, and show you exactly how I Quran journal with them. Let's go. Alright, so before I introduce you to the kids, I thought I would kind of show you exactly how I do the method. And for those who want even more support with this, um, we actually, actually I have a YouTube video on my haul and what I bought. You do not have to buy all that stuff. You can actually buy super cheap stuff um, from anywhere. It's really about the method more than the materials. Um, and the other thing is, for those who want like more and more support, actually inside of Thrive Muslima, we have actual classes where teachers walk you through live how to do it. And on top of that, there's tons of replays of previous ones. So you can see like tons of different styles. There are actually so many ways to do this. It's actually so fun. And the kids found it ridiculously fun. Like they loved it. And we had such a bond and it was so, so good. So I want you to enjoy that too. So if you want that extra support, I'll put a link below of how to get to the classes and things that um, run on for Quran journaling and also um, any materials in there in the classes they mentioned that you need and all the good stuff and the books and things that we use to reference. But for now today, I'm just going to show you kind of what I do with my kids right before we go to my kids. And I show you the footage of kind of like what we did and what it looked like to be with them. And I'll walk you through it as the footage goes on. Um, I just want to show you my own books and kind of um, the method I modified for them. We have like little stapled notebooks, super simple. We just took white paper and stapled it, but probably um, we're going to do it the rest of the year and I will get them their own book. Really exciting. They'll decorate it. So for the kids, I didn't use the one with the notes. Instead, what I did was I used the clear Quran and you're going to see it in my video, the clear Quran for kids. There's a kid's version, and we use that almost like to see it just to have a conversation. It didn't go too deep. Moms who feel like, I'm not a Quran teacher, I can't do this, why do I know? You don't need to be. And by the way, I'm not sponsored in any way by the Clear Quran for Kids, um, but in there, you could literally have the whole conversation. It's outlined for you and like bullets, there's questions, there's cool stories. So it actually does it all for you. So I just like open up a surah and we're working on it and that's it. You're gonna see another book I use, which is um, the Quran with pictures amazing for the younger kids. So I use both uh, like simultaneously with my kids from probably, I don't know, from two and three years old, I can talk to them about it all the way up to like my 12 year old still uses the one with pictures just because we have awesome questions and conversations. But um, I'll tell you more about that in a second. But I just wanna let you know, like if you feel like you don't have that, it's all in the book. That's why I'm suggesting that one. And so Alhamdulillah and also um, in the classes that are for the Quran journaling classes, they walk you through how to do it as an adult. So I would say you could also practice it for yourself as an adult, get that cool feeling, and then do a simpler version for your kids. Now, I will take this and I'll put a little smiley face in the middle. Oh. Look, there's a smiley face. Yeah, they have everything. It's all down, you got it. So for those of you who are curious about like what's in my notebook that I have for myself for notes, this is when I actually will take um, Tafsir al-Sa'adi or Ibn Kathir and I'll actually go through and take notes and other books. I, you can go look at my other YouTube videos or um, in the Thrive class and how these things are done. But anyway, this is not what I do with the kids. This is what I use the clear Quran for. So like the substitute here is I would normally use all these books of Tafsir and study it and then just have a quick reflection that's artistic. Um, we're gonna use the clear Quran for this and then just do the artistic one with the kids. So what you're gonna see here, what I do is I just did some stenciling. This is also a stencil. This is a sticker. This is a stencil, stencil. And then I just boxed out some stuff, did some bullets, um, another thing of tape. I mean, like literally you don't have to have all these. You can just buy a pack of stencils for like nine bucks and just like so much can be done with that and pack of pencils or markers. And that could be it, not all you do. But um, all I really do, and I'm gonna show you this because I'm gonna do this with my kids in a second, is the tefsir. This I get from the clear Quran in the bulleted part right in the beginning. Um, then I just let them pick out one or two words that stood out for them. Word study is really important in any English book, but in the Quran, 
men as well um, like when you do any like studying in literature so I just like the word like for like mercy for a law that day or just like it doesn't have to be crazy this is the adult version remember um, but if it was like merciful and studying helpful whatever it is personal reflection and then how you're going to use what you learned to live better so genuinely what you're going to see is me doing it with the kids and you're gonna see them um, just honestly having a ton of fun. So first we had read, I had a smaller child who's a younger age and we did the Quran with pictures and just had a discussion. What do you notice? What are you wondering? These are two great questions. What do you notice? What is it making you think or wonder? And so we had those and um, then I would like talk to them about that. I also had the clear Quran right there where I could have the same surah at the same time with that if I wanted to talk to a younger child just to educate myself first if I wanted to. For my older child, I had them just go straight in and we read that section of the book together. My son did surah al duha and so alhamdulillah he was really into that. I think my daughter might have done Fatiha or one after that, I have to see again. But basically something super, super small and simple and then he had his own reflection, alhamdulillah. All right, so let's dive into it. I'm just gonna show you really quick. And again, you don't have to do this exact version. You could just read something and have a reflection. I noticed I wondered and this is how I'm gonna use this today. What I really encourage is the action piece because if you don't have your kids think about how many use this in my life, it's the same thing like adults. You don't actually have that happen in your life. So you wanna make sure that they carry those into actual change in their behavior. And then you can just do one of those a week. You could do two of those, however you want. If you have any questions, you always put them in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions of other ways to Quran journal with your kids, you can put those in the comments too. But for now, I'm gonna kind of show you the fun that they had with it. I said, no, no, Jin. I need a bit bad Jin. Oh, you put no, no, Jin? No, no, bad Jin, I'm trying to. Uh -huh. well, first we're writing, and we'll do stamps. Very good. So now you're ready to do decorations, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you have the, the um, stickers? Oh. What's that Look, there's a smiley face. Yeah, they have everything. What's that other letter in the middle? Now, I will take this and I'll put a little smiley face in the middle. Stamping is fun. <laughs> Right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. There's a ton of other things I do with my kids, but definitely, definitely having that connection between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes from knowing his book. And if you, again, feel like a mom, like, gosh, like, I don't know this stuff myself, definitely Quran journal. Like, do it yourself. It is so relaxing. Like, even when I do it in all these notebooks and stuff, like, it is just my artistic moment. I go off on my own, like, when my early in the morning after the Fajr or after the kids are bed, you know, just, like, 20 minutes. And I have me time, and I just really, you can see all my artistic um, stuff in the back. And I'm just really, really just journaling and enjoying myself. And then I get inspired, and then I want to naturally share it with my kids. If that's too much for you too, you don't have to do it. But really, I, I, I want to say the best way to have your kids love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to let them see you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.